<laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome back to another episode, man, of the Speaking Truth Podcast. When I told y'all this is going to be one of the ones, it's, mm-hmm. it, I say it every time, but you, this is really one of the ones because <laughs> y'all, this, this, one, this one goes way back for, for a lot of people. I know a lot of people probably said, damn, Mill, what's going on? Facts, like, facts. He, fact. he, he 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 doing a lot of things in the community. You know what I'm saying? He he's not even really home, but he does this shit back home. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is this is one of the ones, man. Like I said, J Mill, man. Appreciate you for appreciate your time. Appreciate you, man. Like, and- from ATL, come slid out here in there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Moco. Yeah. Moco too. Look, like, I gotta bring a little Moco statement because you know what I'm saying? Moco, you got they, to. They, they, they they sleep on us, man. I ain't gonna lie. They be thinking that we can't really be active and be out here and doing our thing too. Like it's not like, you know, especially people like me and that's like someone that you just connected with again, like you know what I'm saying? We really just try to do our thing like the right way. And it's a lot of like without trying to feel like we gotta jump into this person's lane and jump into that person's lane. And I know that's what a lot of people, especially out there in PG, like that's what y'all expect out of people. That's what y'all expect, man. Do your own thing, cuz like but then they want you to do somebody else's thing at the same time. Like I, I look, you know, like I said, it's gonna be one of them conversations man. today, man. It's gonna be one of the conversations today. So make but sure nah. you like, comment, subscribe. All right, and then J Mill, man, go ahead, man. Tell us how, how you know how you feeling today. How, uh, how you from ATL back home on this little stop, real quick. I mean, first off, man, appreciate you for having mm-hmm. me on this platform, and um, sure. I really been following. Shout out to J Reed, shout out to J Reed, man. He plugged homie. us in. He plugged us in. Yes, he did. Uh-huh. And then once he threw the oop, I was like, shit, let's do it. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying that's when we got the group chat going. Sure. But I feel pretty good. Um, definitely wanted to come back home for this. I ain't mm-hmm. gonna lie. It's the first time outside of Instagram of me like <laughs> ranting for real or for just sure. getting my shit off. For it's sure. like I finally can sit down uh-huh. on a professional platform for sure. with the homie, talk about everything that sure. a lot of folks don't really know what uh-huh. I had to go through. So for this sure. is special. So nah, Hell I'm yeah. I'm, I'm feel Hell good, yeah, man. man. For sure, yeah, man. So you know when it comes to you know the street ball coach, that's what happened. You know, I feel like you know COVID. That's when a lot of people just. That's when everybody kind of had their pivot. It should have, at least, should have had their pivot. I feel like, in my opinion, at this point now, right? Because that was a lot of time for people to really think about what they really wanted to do. Like, yeah. you, you had, you really had nothing to do. Like, the, you were locked inside for so long that it's like when you spent your time outside, you wanted to do something that you, you know, valued or enjoyed. So, you know, what I'm saying, like, for you, you bringing out the one on ones and the street ball like <sighs> culture back real quick during COVID, man, and on Instagram Live, really just, you know, what I'm saying, just. Being that energy, bro. So just talk about what, what what led you into doing that. We can start all the way back in 2020, man, when you was bringing the 1v1 tours, man, the J. Mill tour. Ah, so it all started really, like you said, once we got on lockdown, mm-hmm. I would say it was like two, three weeks went by. I'm just like, I'm bored for real. I don't mm-hmm. even play video games no more. So <laughs> everybody else on the games, shit, I'm not on the games. I'm just right. listening to music or cop some weed or some smoke a little bit whatever right. but once i got on live and i forgot i can't remember but i remember i got on live and just started talking about like mm-hmm. dang class of 16 my class and mm-hmm. 15 this moments right. au teens who was good who was mm-hmm. not who was a late bloomer right. and it got it just build up build up to a point where folks in the comments just be going <laughs> crazy <laughs> on each other and i love the comments right. and i always tell people like if i get you on the platform we talking and this and that mm-hmm. do not fight the comments because right. the comments might come at you crazy mm-hmm. whatever the case maybe don't fight the comments people right. love to fight the comments but fast forward people just in the comments like man I'm, I'm, man i was always better than you man i was always this always that mm-hmm. and shout out to lil mcgriff lil john mcgriff man mm-hmm. one of the ones and tim bing my homie and we was like and me i played too i played against marquise my little marquise from the mm-hmm. city and we was the first ever two games I ever created for real off the mm-hmm. pandemic. And we picked some court around fucking Largo or something mm-hmm. outside cold. Right. And I remember I lost. Everybody was <laughs> on my head. Like, everybody was on my head. Because it was like, people were better than me. Like, Mill, you right. should not lose the keys. And I love right. keys. Shout out to keys. Mm-hmm. It was like, you should not lose to him. So when I lost to him, it was like, I ain't feeling embarrassed because it's like, it right. is what it is. But it's just like. That really put the fire into me to really create even more because that's when I'm like, all right, I got to bounce back and show folks I still really can do it real right. quick. And uh, I remember Tim played McGriff. That was a good game. Tim won. And then I was, after that, people just like, man, Mill, man, set this up. Well, Mill, I want to bump with him. Mill, this and that. And every day, Instagram, we just yeah. on live every day, like uh-huh. 100 plus just talking. And then we have our folks from, not even from the crib in the right. joint, be like, 
oh no, nah, yeah, this and that, this and that. Mm-hmm. And then we had some legendary matchups for real, even to the burnt hoops. I had my burnt homies <laughs> who, who just wanted this bump, and then it was right. this. It was a fun experience, bro. It was it was real fun, and it just really made pandemic like special and really see mm-hmm. that old like I got that niche. Like I always knew I had that niche, but right. as far as like organically getting folks to like, mm-hmm. oh, I got to pull up the mill shit. Like, I got to right. see what's going on. Boom, boom, boom. It's it's a it's a great feeling. It was a blessing for us. So. For sure, man. This you that guy from the from around the way though, man. Like you, but is it like just you know like you just you just explained it, but going a little bit more about just you know how you. How how much you not, I won't say the pressure. Like I think I'm trying to ask about if there was any pressure in, in, in that time of just trying to create that. You know, just keep creating more, keep creating more because obviously you lead into doing more uh, moving forward. And as we're gonna talk about lost ones in, 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 in a little bit, but you know, just talk about what it felt like once you what, what did you feel inside personally? Like you know, what I'm saying just to be so much you know that's hustling, but people also looking at you for you know this type of you know what I'm saying experience. Um, I would I would never say it was so much pressure on me. It was just. That's what I would love to do. Like, I love seeing folks smiling, laughing, whatever, teasing each other, whatever whatever the case may be, as long Mm -hmm. as there's togetherness and there's no violence at the end of the day. And um, that time, like, for sure, that's what really started Lost Ones. Like, literally, Mm -hmm. I lost my homie, um, Nasty, a.k.a. Brian, and that's one of the few individuals that we play Mm -hmm. under. I lost him after my last event, doing the ones, and... It happened after the let out. Long story short, got killed at the court, this and that. Mm-hmm. And that's, I would say, not pressure, but it was on some like, damn, it was my fault. Wow. Even folks was like, man, that's not your fault, man. You mm-hmm. made sure everybody gone, this and that. Like, I had folks from Mocha out there, like, mm-hmm. playing Kevin Holston, my homie Dez, and them. So it was just like little kids. So I made sure everybody left the court and where we was at, which is like, that's why I was like, damn, I'm special. I'm in a whole nother hood in this mm-hmm. city that I don't really got no ties to. Like, I remember, prime example, it was the day, it was the event before that happened. We played at Kelly Miller. They don't got no lights. We had like two more games left. So, like, man, we got to go back to Ridge Road. We were wow. supposed to be at Ridge Road earlier, but the little hood, they oh, they, they, they had the courts. So like, nah, wow. we ain't about to fuck with them. <laughs> so, they're like, man, just right. go over there, man. Tell them what you got going on. I swear. Shout out to my boy Scooter. He's like, man, come on, bro. So, we went. 20, 30 cars deep, the Ridge Road, boom, boom. They on the court like, who the fuck over here? Like, who's in our hood? Like, boom, boom, boom. And then we got up to the court, and everybody's looking at me like on some movie shit, like, go talk to him. Right. So I'm like, all right. <laughs> so I holla at whoever the big homie out there, whatever, at that time, at the court. And I was like, man, this is what we got going on, this and that. Like, we let y'all finish up, and then you can kick it and see what we got going on. And... They loved it because it's like the type of talent that was out there playing was still in their prime, still right. in school, this For and that. Sure. So it's like they they doing it. For so sure. after that, the hood's like, man, y'all can come back anytime. You straight. <laughs> like, and I was like, right. dang, like yeah. I knew, excuse me, I knew that I had that niche that people like, I love Mill, like mm-hmm. no matter what, and boom, boom, boom. And I, I fuck with that. But fast forward to what you just said, the pressure came when after that incident happened because people don't understand. If you know, you know, and this is why again, like I could have mm-hmm. chose side. Like my homie Nasty is from my side, mm-hmm. but we, I ain't gonna say too much, but like say whatever, another side that I'm cool with them. Mm-hmm. I could have been on some like, man, y'all, y'all fought, man. This is mm-hmm. my side, I'm rocking. But it's like, I have the respect that is like, people that ain't lingered at to me. Like you gotta choose a side, you gotta choose that side. So mm-hmm. It was like, look. We know you the ticket for real. It's bringing us together as far as our age group. Where our age group is like literally jacked up right now. Mm-hmm. It's like, bro, just keep level headed and do what you got to do. So I think that time right there when I lost my homie, that's how I was like, should I stop what I'm doing or we got what's next for real? Mm-hmm. And that's where boom, that's where later lost ones literally. For sure, lost ones, man. Shoot, you know I, I trust me. I, I this is. A fr- to be honest with y'all, you know, this is the first time me and bro have even, you know, spoke in person. Facts. You know what I mean? Like, I like to, a lot of people know that I kind of like to save what I like to do because of these moments, right? Because I want people to grab something, you know what I'm saying, from the most, you know, authentic and vulnerable, for, uh, you know, you because, you know, that's kind of what I've been going through in, in a sense, right? Just trying to, you know, put things together, trying mm-hmm. to figure some things out. And we was just talking about that. Um, but, you know, for lost ones, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're, you're pretty bringing out the community for, like, for all different kinds of reasons. Like you say, just, 
creating a safe space for you know people from whatever hoods, people from whatever you know they they from, like to come out and support you know some good bump. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, so just you know bringing it in together. I know you, you're not doing this all by yourself. I've seen you had the team. Oh no, like, facts. You know what I'm saying? So just talk about what you know. Put it. How do y'all put it all together? What what makes it come all together? What makes it whole? And but, but how's that product become that that product? Well, the team really came from and shout out to Kelvin, Raina, Leah, um, Mike, my camera people, oh. and even for the folks that who just come out and just watch every year. Right. And um, it all started from literally from that incident, and then um, uh, what was it? What was it? Twenty twenty one. Yeah, it started twenty twenty one. I'm at my homie spot, Kelvin and Mike's. I was crashing there in the A on the couch, just crashing before I got my spot, mm-hmm. and I'm just like. I was at the point in time, like, damn, I don't know what the fuck I want to do, bro. Like, I'm stuck. Like, mm-hmm. how can I push this type of vision that I had in my notes for months? Like, I had lost ones in my notes. Like, when I lost Lamar, when I lost Nasty, when I lost Troy and Reed. And Reed, Reed he came out to lost ones just on a supporting tip. Like, he used to be out there just talking crazy shit, boom, boom, mm-hmm. he used to hoop. But I had that in my fucking notes for months. So it was one summer, that 2021 summer, I was like, shit, I want to do Lost Ones. And shout out to my boy Frank. Frank Frank and I, we we, we still cool, but we going to get back together. But Frank, that used to play at um, Part of Six, okay. Syracuse, this and that. Frank helped me get Lost Ones off the ground year one. And I could have, the way how we grew it, I loved it. Because it like, I just wanted year one to be the start, the birth. Let's plant that seed. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck. Who playing it? I just want to make this happen and see, okay, how can I grow yeah. from this? And um, year one was great. Year one was great. Fourth of July, we pulled it off. Um, we used Dunbar High School, the outside courts, and we just we just kicked it out there. And then I just saw the love, and not only from my homie Najee. Najee didn't even have to pull up. I didn't even know Najee was going to pull up to play year one. Like yeah. I ain't talked to Najee in so long before that. Right. And we became so close after that, again, for real. And um, that's when I knew. I was like, okay, I just bought an NBA homie out here that we don't got no jerseys for real. We just doing it off the strength. I didn't get no permit outside over there. We mm-hmm. just said, fuck it. We just going to choose this court and do it. Right. And then that was on some, just me and Frank. And then year two, year two, I would say that's one of my favorite years because that's the year that literally, like, it wasn't no expectations. It was on some, like, all right. I know what now. Now I know what to do. This is my vision. I'm gonna get my top homies who play college, NBA, overseas, whatever the case may be. The ones who's really still doing it. I want them to have a platform or come back home and get some good bumping under mm-hmm. lost ones. Right. You know, and I got some backfire. Some people are like, man, they don't. Big Hunter don't know Doc. Man, why you got Big Hunter playing? Why you got Drake mm-hmm. Cook playing? Right. I said because. Folks want to see them play. Hunter play on TV two days out of the week. So to see his big, tall, white ass playing, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a blessing. It's like, y'all like, damn, we can see Big Hunt play. And right. to this day, he's one of the best bigs in college basketball to this day. Mm-hmm. Dre Cook played top overseas. Najee just got his new contract, and y'all see him every year. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's only that. My outside folks, like, mm-hmm. that be like, damn, he came up the road. It's not because it's just off the love of me. Like, I don't. Sure. I don't reach out be like just geeking like yo I need you to play I need you to play boom boom. Mm-hmm. They most of them come to me like yo I want to hoop like I'm I'm home let me right. or I'm I'm gonna come back home for this and then boom and then year three this what a lot of folks understand this is where you have your first two years like up up and then year three was like that's when I knew it was like I need a team like I really need a team I need mm-hmm. folks that can just be on my ass and make sure I'm good or they take care of this or just really just get on my ass like, yo, right. you're bullshitting. You are the founder of this. We love this. We doing it off the strength, mm-hmm. but we need you. You the one that going to lead us, bro. Right. And year three was on some, it wasn't bad, but I went away from the message. Whereas we're celebrating our lost individuals due to gun violence and unexpected tragic events. Whereas I'm just thinking about, Oh, I gotta get, I gotta get my homie here. I gotta get him. I gotta get him. I gotta get him. I gotta get him. Mm-hmm. And I made it a two-day event where Lost One was never going to be a two-day event no more because that's right. not even the style. It's one day. If you miss it, you miss it. It's cool. Mm-hmm. And I tried a two-day event. It was just all type shit. And just behind the scenes, I'm 
I'm jacked up mentally. You know what I'm saying? I'm at a point in time in my life where it's like I'm trying to figure things out. I need to trying to find my main occupation for real, mm -hmm. which is now I'm a behavior therapist for autistic kids. Mm -hmm. So that's what right. I love to do. Right. So it's like at that time, I'm jobless for real. Like, but I'm mm -hmm. still trying to make sure law students is right. Mm -hmm. And year three was not bad. I bought out heads. Like, it's like, oh, snap. Like, okay, boom. But just the the aesthetic and just the vibe of it, it wasn't there. Right. And I love the criticism. I love that. A lot of people don't love right. criticism. Right. You know that's what I'm saying? Yeah. That's where a lot of folks that miscommunicate with me is like, bro, I stepped in life early. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen a lot, been through a lot, even in the basketball field, but just in life general, bro. Like, if I see you fucking up, I'm going to tell you. I love when my folks tell me when I fuck up. It's to, to this day, like, Mill, you bullshitting. What are you doing? Right. And I love that. And um, so the criticism was like, nah, man, this wasn't it, man. The vibe wasn't there. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know. You got to just do something. Like, people just like, well, you yeah, got to do something. Sure. Got my team. Started off from the rollout. The rollout set the tone. It's like, okay, mill back on the shit. Like, the rollout was five star ish. Everything, the, the hashtag of the summer, back to basics. Like, right. we're going back to the basics from what year one, year two. Right. One day, 4th of July. And it was just history happened for real. Sure. Like, it definitely set the tone. And this year was on some, I don't care. I, this year was on some, I just want to show folks that we are official, we organize. We officially at LLC now as a nonprofit and just showing folks like, yeah, we, we back I'm back we back on ten. And it went crazy, it went viral, not even off of one highlight, not even no dunk, no nah, layup. Nah, I feel it. yeah, you know. <laughs> Man, like I knew in response to that joint, I, I know exactly what you talking about when everybody point because it was crazy. I was watching that shit on live, bro. I ain't gonna lie, like that's that's, that's hard the impact. I was watching this shit on live, so I'm like Damn, yeah, I feel because I started rapping a little bit over the summer, so I'm like, hey, yo, about this man, and that going dick on through it, cuz. No, in fact, no, I already know it ain't that joint tight because you got 1,500 people just pointing which way they want the ball to go. Literally, but, and it's like, yeah. when you really dare and hearing what they mm -hmm. saying, they like threaten the ref, yeah. and the ref know <laughs> all of it because that, though, like the ref, they know we call him Steve Harvey, mm -hmm. he yeah, refed a lot of motherfuckers growing up, yeah, for sure. you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, I definitely remember he him. know how he rocked, but like mm -hmm. he was heated at that moment because I get it. It's like heated in the moment. I don't yeah. know who ball it is. And I got one nigga talking about, I'm going to smack the shit out of you if you ain't going to go this. <laughs> well, I got money on here. So it got to a point. But after that, it was it was, it was was fun. It was right. good. And it was for just sure. like, dang. I remember going back to the A. I just saw it blew up. Like, and he was like, bro, y'all shit blown up on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And one of my homies, homie, I forgot, uh, it's Twitter and like, there he go. Sure. He popped out. And he, he didn't have to do that. Like, he mm -hmm. had to record it, and he put the best type of Twitter caption to, to make it go viral. Right. So when he did that, I looked. I said, damn, it's had 100K on, on Twitter views. Well, I said, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Then a few hours later, that bitch hit a million. Mm -hmm. And then after that, people just started catching up, catching up, catching up right. to the point where ESPN and Overtime, House Highlights, and people doing TikToks reactions, mm -hmm. and then Cam Newton. We was on his podcast, of Viral of the Week. So it was right. just like, dang. And that just build up to going into New York. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Whitehead right. and Lance sure. Stevenson. Taking that joint on the road, bro. Like, <sighs> talk about that. Like, you motherfucking took your shit that you just did here, like, built up for four years, and got people from out of the city, out of the county, you know what I'm saying, to really see this shit on, a, on a, like you said, a national scale. Like, yeah, you went to New York. I seen you went to Richmond. You know what I'm saying? Like, talk about that, bro. Like, that's, that's major. That's Just love. It was just love. And, like, it was just love, and, like, yeah. it was just love, like we, I was supposed to do New York year three, mm -hmm. but year three was so jacked up, we had to reschedule it and all types of stuff, boom, boom, boom. And I met Whitehead, Whitehead, my father, Whitehead through P Hub, my boy mm -hmm. P Apprentice. And Whitehead, he ain't had to wait for another year mm -hmm. for a nigga he just really met for real right. through, you know what I'm saying? Another associate, another homie. Right. So, but like, he knew I was serious when I doubled back on him. Pause. Um, <laughs> November. <laughs> past yeah last yeah. november i said yo i want to make this happen like mm -hmm. i got my shit together i promise you gonna be good year four sure. boom boom and white hair is like all right like if you ain't coming out here i ain't fucking with you no more mm -hmm. so then once once i knew home went well i said oh, yeah new york we're going we, we yeah this is the year for sure and we went out there we had some folks that backed out but you know i ain't really the type be like oh he backed out this snap boom boom, boom. It, it's like we're gonna continue to move on mm -hmm. so i had Five of my homies 
Then I had to call one of my homies from Jersey to say, man, pull up New York. I just need you to hoop real quick. Boom. And one thing about us, it's not about wins or losses. Like, this is the experience. Like, those five of my homies, that's the first time they really played in New York mm. in the terms of really summer. Right. Like, lights on you. 500 plus is really watching you. And then not only that, you taking pictures with Lance Stevenson. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Whitehead and Jewel Santana out there. Right. Like, his folks out there. So it's just like, it was just a blessing that I able, not even me, my team and I able to pull that off right. for my homies that played in the game. And that was that was love. And Whitehead and I, we like this. And right. we going back out. We want to go back out there again next year, too, anyway. We just love it. It was like, bro, he want to come here. I was like, nah, we love New York. We love New York. I want to come back out there. And then Richmond, Seawig, shout out to Seawig. Um, a lot of mutuals. I remember Mouton, he plugged me in with um, Seawig. Like... 2020 year two of lost ones right. that's when we started a richmond joint and see wig stuck with me too like oh. year three they came up to year three i still able to pull that off but it was on some like and it was enclosed like they didn't mm -hmm. get that experience that that they want what we had this past what our annual is like right. people there people in your shit they didn't get that mm -hmm. and uh that's due to me and but see wig like man as long as we pull that off come on down richmond this and that and we always gonna play Richmond every year. Like mm -hmm. that's second home to me. I love Richmond. I love them. I love mm -hmm. them. And we pulled out off in August. We was dumb tired. I ain't like we was tired all summer. Mm -hmm. Going back to the A, come here, make sure this straight, make sure that straight, all that straight. So once after Richmond trip, we was like stress relief. Like, dang, mm -hmm. we we went three for three. But now it's like we now we in the off season. And usually this off season, this where I just be fucking up, like, cause I'm be bored. I don't got nothing to do. I just be tripping. But now we, now we tapped in into right. the to the community stuff, right. and um, we was blessed to able what we on right now for next month. We was blessed to um, connect with organization that gave us five families nice. that we gonna make congrats, sure they have a player yeah, at Thanksgiving, and uh, we raising donations and it's going crazy. I think we a thousand left, mm -hmm. two thousand is the goal, and um, take care of them families. Mm -hmm. And then fifth year anniversary is this year so we're gonna roll that out december mm -hmm. and we went from three cities to six seven cities like my welcome my introduction to atlanta that's a lot of folks don't know like i've been in atlanta for what three four years now mm -hmm. and i just been building connections building network right. this snap like we more than basketball like i love basketball but i'm not about to talk basketball with you 24 right. 8 like that's i love right. music i love fashion i mm -hmm. love this snap so it's like Lost Ones is really all in one because we right. bring every type of person you know for real. Mm -hmm. And um, so I can't wait to, yeah, I can't wait. I ain't going to sure. lie. Like, yeah. I can't wait. For sure. No, first of all, congrats, man. Like, to be a young black man, to be able to do shit like that, like, man, we don't give enough, we don't give each other enough credit. At times. We don't. You know and it's like, like where we from, like, yeah. this is what I really want to piggyback on that people don't understand, like, it's hard to mm -hmm. really come out of the DMV organically mm -hmm. as far as like, I'm not about to jump on this individual lane because he or she got going on. And I'm like, all right, I get benefit from, benefit from that just by just jumping on and see right. what the fuck, just what I can do. Like, mm -hmm. nah, like people love the shortcuts here now. And I'm not on that. Like, I went at it with everybody. Like that 2022... 2023. I wish you. I wish you follow me around then. But that's when I was on my Kanye shit, just mm -hmm. ranting on my folks, bro. Like, <laughs> just arguing with folks. I think this, I was still people some just that arguing shit, yeah. with folks. Yeah, but yeah. like, even when I was arguing with folks, I was uh -huh. saying stuff at like, and I'm like, oh nah. Even you don't know me or just know I'm like, oh nah. Like he knows some shit. Like mm -hmm. he really know people. Like right. the way he, the way he just talking and the way he knows shit. Boom, boom boom. So it's like it's the way how I was saying it. I was just controlling shit. But mm -hmm. it comes with it of what lane that i'm in like i really consider myself like a public figure for real for sure. you feel me so it's like it's gonna be friendships that my opinion that they don't like for real this and that behind the scenes or even on the ground whatever that they ain't gonna like mm -hmm. it's like it is what it is but end of the day you just gotta stand on 10. like yeah. shout out to quinn shout out to quinn cook like i ain't no problem everybody thought we had problems and stuff beefing mm -hmm. but it was just you got you got him as like a alpha male and I'm an alpha male too, even though he's older than me, but it's like I I just I just got right, that. Just yeah. know that it's like seeing folks like damn like 
choosing sides for like, dang, you going out to Quinn, boom, boom. It's like, nah, I was like, it's just disagreements. Like, mm-hmm. I love what Quinn doing. It's no, I always respect him because we have close mutuals that's like, one of our mutuals, he like, man, y'all got to stop that shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I love you. I love him. Like, come on, bro. So, it's just times I was like, dang, I've been through all of that and I still have my cult or support system from home or a state right. or different states. Like, I'm going to still rock with him because... Right. He's 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 really authentic. Like you're gonna see everything on the gram. Like so. you're gonna see me fucked up on the gram. You're gonna see me balling like a bitch on the gram. <laughs> like you're gonna see everything on the gram in a real person. Right. So it's like it's no facade with me, and it, and it's just straight realness, man. And it's mm-hmm. like I don't really look for no trophy or no reward or be like oh mill real. Like nah, like we're gonna continue to keep going, and that's what it, that's how I was raised up. Right. I'm. I'm I'm the only child. I don't got no fucking siblings. <laughs> so I got to put on for real, for real. And right. a lot of people, like, I don't know what MoCo go through, but growing up, bro, and like, still to this day, people just don't want to rep where they really from for real. No, I really, that's, that's, I really that's, hate that. That's the epitome of MoCo. I ain't going to lie. Niggas from MoCo, man, like, now we're talking about it. It's like, you know, it's a lot of people that want to be from the city. You know, it's a lot of people that want to be from the city. I hate PG. that. You know what I'm saying? It's like they, they was afraid to, like, say, because, you know, me growing up, like, I grew up in my fucking, uh, I was born in, like, Tacoma Park area. Mm-hmm. Went to, then I moved to White Oak for a little bit. Then I'm in Burtonsville. People from Burtonsville don't want to say they're from Burtonsville. It was like, bro, I'm from Burtonsville, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, that's where I grew up. That's where I spent most that's of my time. That's where I laid my head you at. You know what I'm saying? That's where I laid my head at, bro. bro <laughs> forever. So it's like, yeah, like, it's, it was. Um, I eventually put this in my bio, bro. I was like, Beville, because it's like, yeah, when I'm when the time comes for me to really like people know what I, what I was doing, like I was in Burtonsville, bro. I went to I was across the street from Payne Branch High School, but I chose to go to Springbrook. You know what I'm saying? Like yes, we sir. had a little shit like that. Like you know what I'm saying? Like if we had three choices in high school, like just having a little like a little spot. But even that, like people trying to be from Baltimore too, because like Burtonsville, where I'm from, from uh, specifically, that's like the last part of Moco. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you got Howard County that way, you got PG that way, and you got the rest of Moco this way. So it's like. Be like the middle of everything for real. So I'm like, yeah, nah, I'm I'm cool where I'm at, bro. Yeah, I'm not like, like it's I'm nothing cool. wrong with being from like the cool little suburb neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Like you got ain't nothing too much popping going around where you from. I'm not saying shit don't get jumping, but you know what I'm saying? Like as long as I, I can walk outside every yep. day comfortably, you know what I'm saying? I'm cool. I ain't I don't gotta act like I'm from the trenches. I don't gotta feel like I'm from the hood. Like a lot of people all the time feel like that's just because you live that lifestyle because that's that's what and but that's what validate your struggle and it's like no nah like no I, nigga, even i was struggling in, in a sense like yeah i'm not trying to say i'm struggling like them it shouldn't be a struggle war. i feel like a lot of people from around the way the dmv like everybody want to have this struggle war. Like, i hate it like, you know what i saying? hate I it i struggle more than you damn my bad like bro. like sorry fuck that, that supposed to be yeah. a good thing because yeah. it's like me growing up in full washington bro like people will laugh still so today my homies will laugh like my mm-hmm. trenches homies whatever they can they still will laugh mm-hmm. to this day but they respect me because it's like this nigga gonna rep for Washington wherever he go, <laughs> like no matter what. Right. And it's like my struggles is like that's why I be I be kind of laughing what people trying to force the struggles to make mm-hmm. it seem like man this is what I'm going through. Like bro, I see my mama cry so many times growing up. You know what right. I'm saying? Even in living in for Washington, mm-hmm. like I experienced the home invasions and stuff like that. Like mm-hmm. seeing my mom sh- work stuff in another neighbor's mm-hmm. backyard and stuff like that. But it's like I'm not about to dwell on it. Mm-hmm. I'm not about to black screen it for four weeks straight mm-hmm. and just be like, nah. It's like we got that. What's next? Okay, right. cool. This is part of the journey. This is part of the story. I love the the fucked up shit in the story because people want to know. Okay, how do you bounce back from that? Right, exactly. And that's just the beauty of it. And it's just like I went to school in the city, like. Carol and then idea of public charter where it's mm-hmm. like literally built up a charter school with my soldiers and stuff like that in two years my last two years of high school I'm experiencing on half days I go to my my homies my trenches homies in Minnesota Deanwood whatever the case may be mm-hmm. southeast whatever and I just see how they grow up like growing up what's mm-hmm. their experience and shit I mean day one the suburban lifestyle right, they exactly. not trying to leave that every day yeah, exactly. like they want the shit that I have for real mm-hmm. and I'm just like as me and how much they respect me and love me, I'm not on no arrogance to like eyes we gotta go through, or I'm not on no right. like trying to blend in with them. Like, damn man, you going through that? That shit, mm-hmm. man. This why I'm going, man. Boom. Right. Like, I'm not about to be on that. I'm gonna yeah. just stay me, stay real. But end of the day, like, I'm with you. Like, whatever mm-hmm. you need, cool. And then they be like, Mill, whatever you need. Like, if nigga fucking with you, we got you. Or you need this or need that. Like, it's just 
People just got to stay true to their colors. Like, it's, it's bottom line. I know it's so simple, but people make it so difficult. Like, it's to this day I just see it, and I just be so, I just be so cringe about it. Like, I had to get, I had to confront some of my folks, you know what I'm saying? My homies who was trying to get on that wave. I'm like, man, we're not on that, man. Like, say no more. This is a roadblock, but nigga, we still driving. You right. know what I'm saying? Our cars still work. Mm -hmm. So that's what I learned from, from. My my big brothers that, that I really call and my mama for real. My mm -hmm. mom like, man, okay, cool. They fucked up the crib or they fucked up my car. We Gucci, we good. I'm still here, you still here, right? Cool. Right. Let's keep it moving. For sure. And that's what we have to realize in this area in particular. Like, it ain't just us everywhere else, but our area in particular where I'm tired of the conversations be like, Why are we not like this? Why are we not like that? It's first we have to look in the mirror. Everybody gotta look in the mirror oh, and face reality. Facts. <laughs> we can't keep living off your past prime and we can trickle into the basketball community. It's like, okay, you was like that as fuck back then. Mm -hmm. But now we are in twenty twenty four. You it, it's no more Slip money, more, 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 whatever the case may be that you was getting. It's no more of that. Now right. you in the real world. Now you got to figure out a new prime of yourself. Maybe it's not basketball. Maybe you're a lawyer. Maybe you're this and that. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to continue to dwell on what you had in the past because exactly. life's still moving on. Exactly. That's why it's so hard where it's a blessing that even motherfuckers throw events or parties and this and that. I salute them because we're in an age where I don't got to go to that. I don't care about that. Fuck that. But the fact that we getting people like, dang, eat a little cereal or go to brunch or go to dinner, whatever the case may be. All right, I got to go to ant shit. I got to go to meal shit. So it's like, dang, like, no, that's hard because yeah. you don't have to do that. You can go to right. sleep. You can go this because we're adults. It ain't like we kids. It's mm -hmm. like, mom, I'm jumping. It's like, this is my decision. Right. So, yeah. And we're more wiser. So oh, it's yeah. like, that's hard that just bringing people out, whoever do, whoever do it. Like, I, I salute. I learn from people too. Like, people probably get the feeling like man they don't listen to nobody like nah if you really know me like i really be listening niggas like mm -hmm. i really learn from guys like it's people got more money than us it's people right. got this and that but one thing that they respect us is like ain't gonna be ant mill gonna be mill right. i know they ain't gonna switch it's because i got a hundred thousand in my pocket he i i know he ain't about to jump i know right. he ain't about to switch up right. and that's that's what I love about living in Atlanta too, bro. Like I just seen a lot. Like shout out to my right hand Manny, Manny Supreme. He put me in rooms that I never thought I'd be in. And like literally, like two chains party, Jeezy party. I'm sitting right here next to Rick Ross, just having a conversation, mm -hmm. seeing the ATL Jacobs, this and that. And it's just like I'm just taking notes. Like all right, when I'm really, really in the rooms, like hey, what's going on? What's up, cuz? Mm -hmm. I'm already prepared for it. Right. And it's just, it's just, I don't know. It's just. I like, I like, it's funny, bro, how everything, how life just puts you in certain positions that you never thought you would never be in. Never thought you would be in, facts. And Man, what, trust me, bro, because that was me, like, you know, being, being someone from MoCo, like, I, I, I just, I was, I was decent, I was good at hoops, I don't want to say I was decent, I was good at hoops, I played D3 ball, but. Same, um, what school? Uh, Wilson College. Wilson? Yeah, I went to St. Mary's, yeah, okay, St. Mary's. You know, we had to put Wilson on the map, you know what I'm saying, me and the guys, and even, it, they, it goes to that, like, you know what I'm saying, we went to, like, the smallest, like. Well, the smallest D3s, but mm -hmm. like they damn near about to get rid of the, the school program and shit. Like, we we rely put that shit on our backs. Me, my me, my guy, uh, AT, uh, X, man, uh, Day Day. Shit, we was the main three that stayed from our freshman year to, to the senior year. But we got guys like Rick, we got guys like uh, we had a big man came through the guys, some our younger guys, Daryl, <clears throat> Daryl, and all them. Like, we just was like, we was in that joint in the mud, like, every day, just like. Battling because we knew like we was the best team, but yeah, we like nobody can fuck with us, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like, facts, facts. you know what I'm saying? Like, we just it, 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 and, and to us, like, fuck it, we this is our NBA, this is like our NBA. Like, we, yep. we gonna we were looking at how we gonna how can we find the right pieces to even make our team better because you know what I'm saying? Because we, we wanted to take that shit serious and win, and that's the biggest thing that I learned about, like, for me personally in life, bro. It's not basketball was my like basketball was like my tool. But yes. I realized just like yes. it taught me how to be like a winner. Like I wanted to really win in life, and I always wanted that. I wanted to be great. I wanted to, you know, have you know what I'm saying the, the lifestyle, all the shit. You know what I'm saying. But that mm -hmm. comes with, you know, just learning that discipline through a sport like basketball, or even now we. I'm in a studio. I do work in a studio. I see it in artists as well. Like I see it in people that do fashion. I see it in people just locked into that. You know what I'm saying. Whatever it is that they know that they enjoy one, but also they know that can really 
you know what I'm saying, have them comfortable in life. Like, no, I, I was saying it earlier this week, like, there's no pressure whenever you feel like you're doing God's work, bro. Like, you know, you feel like there's, you just wake up and you know that what you're doing is for a bigger purpose is bigger than you, bro. Like, it's, can't nobody tell me shit. And I know that you've been hearing shit. Like, I know that with, with mm-hmm. all that, all the work that you put in, bro, all, like, people see, people see the problem and they may say, oh, he ain't have such and such out here or, man, fuck, fuck, why the fuck he ain't call me? Like, oh, you know man. Like, it, it, it definitely be like that. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, damn, bro, like, first of all, can I get my flowers? I don't even want to ask for flowers, but it's like, damn, bro, like, can, can I get some acknowledgement on yeah. just the fact that I did it, bro? Like, you over here saying this, that, and the third. It's like, bro, like, you, why didn't you do it? Yeah, I, that's I'm that's literally that. like, why? <laughs> why? I'm, why? The, I'm the one that, you know what I'm saying, I decided to do it, and, I, and here's my result. But instead, like, I know from our culture, like you were saying, like, it's a lot of just people that, you know, because that they're stuck in that past prime. Yeah. They 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 think that that's going to continue to carry over for them, and it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not case. because we not we coming. We about to be the new adults, for real. Like mm-hmm. the new OGs that we supposed to be. Like Facts. we we they aiming call me there already, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> like, like <laughs> it's crazy. So it's just like I just be like, man, come on. So that's why it be it be a blessing where people my age to this day just ask for advice it's not mm-hmm. even though i didn't even play a lick of one minute of overseas but they mm-hmm. know what the fuck i'm talking about like right. i played every level like juco product all types mm-hmm. of shit like played in dev say see i carol like so i s- grew up with motherfuckers and just have the ogs and right. took they picked their brains out to where it's like oh snap this is what was going on back there now it's mm-hmm. a full circle now we was y'all 10 20 years Facts. ago whatever so it's just like the other day, like, I have a couple folks, I posted a Juco shit, and uh had a couple folks like, damn, I didn't know that. Like, yeah. I went up, I went to Potomac State after after high school. I was supposed to go to Newberry, okay. D2. Coach left, decommitted. I said, right, let me take the Juco route. Went to Potomac State freshman year. Made second team all regions. Supposed to made first team, but it was all sophomores. But mm-hmm. we was ranked. I averaged 17, this and that. Mm-hmm. I said, okay, cool. I know my plan. This is what I was really chasing, Division One basketball. But end of the day, I was I was basketball and, and but at the same time, niggas would know me like even in high school, after practice over, all right, it was a sweet sixteen party. I love to dance like that mm-hmm. Nene area everything. I used I to make like, videos. Yeah, yeah, you used to go viral. Yeah. I used to go viral. <laughs> like made a dance like curl that went viral and everything. So it's like I love the fun stuff. Like mm-hmm. I treated basketball as like like you said as a tool. Like mm-hmm. this basketball is my life. But end of the day, I know I'm not going to the NBA because I know. Mm-hmm. Reality, like, I'm not working hard enough to get there, but right. I'm working hard enough to just, like, all right, boom, get some money in my pocket, whatever, this and that, meet new people, mm-hmm. see new experiences, this and that. And sophomore year, I went out Texas, Frank Phillips, Region 5. Mm. That 